So I have two stories to tell you guys today. The first one, it's okay if you laugh at me. I laughed at myself when I talked about it again. So when I was in third grade, we voted for people to represent our class. And I wanted to win because I thought I could give my class extra recess and pizza for lunch. So I really wanted to represent my class. But my friend Jessica, we, she was running too and she was crying a lot. And so I asked her what was wrong. And she told me she thought no one was gonna vote for her. So I told her, like, Jessica, I'll vote for you, even though you could vote for yourself in our class. I was like, I'll give you my vote. And so at the end, our teacher tallied up all the votes. She wrote everyone's name on the board who ran. And my fingers are crossed because I really wanted extra recess and pizza for lunch. And so she wrote my name on the board and she wrote Jessica's name. And then Jessica had 15 votes out of like 25 kids. So that was a lot, that was really good. And then she wrote my name on the board. Guess how many points I had? Zero. Not even one for myself because I didn't vote for myself. It's, not, it's kind of funny, but isn't that a little sad? A little bit, right? So I wanted to share this story first because this, this is kind of what we think kindness looks like, but that doesn't necessarily, that's not what it means, right? So God wants us to be kind to others, but that doesn't mean that we have to hurt ourselves or put ourselves down in order for others to feel kind, the kindness, right? So it's, it's, I can laugh about it now, but I'm sure I was pretty heartbroken that I didn't get pizza for lunch, right? All right, so I'm gonna go on with my next story. But before I do that, I'm gonna talk about something called autism. This is like the main part of my story. What is autism? I know some of you might have heard of it, but some of us might have not. So I'm going to talk about it for a little bit. So autism is something that some people have and they might have some challenges with social skills. So that's trouble talking to friends or playing or being around others, or they might repeat certain, certain behaviors. And so they might like having a certain routine they do every day or doing the same activities. And they also might struggle with communication. So that's trouble with like expressing how they feel if they're sad about something or something makes them really angry. And they can also be pretty overwhelmed really easily and they might be more sensitive to certain, certain sounds or smells or tastes. And so honestly, reading these, I'm sure a lot of us can relate to these because I know I don't like the taste of salsa. I don't know about you guys. There's certain tastes that we might not like. So we can all relate to some of these. So I want to talk about also what autism is not. So some people might think they're, oh, they're not smart. Well, this is completely wrong, right? So some people with autism might need a little more help in school or doing other tasks, but they are extremely smart. And some, even that I know, have some extraordinary gifts. And I'm going to talk about those today because my friend with autism that I'm talking about, he was very good at math and freeways, which is pretty cool. So another thing that is a misunderstanding about autism is that they can't understand you. So just because it might seem like the person isn't listening to you, because they might not be looking at understanding what you're saying, right? And the last one is that they don't want to be your friend. Now this is totally wrong, because everyone wants to feel loved and have friends, right? And this is no exception. They just might not um, they might have a little bit of trouble showing that. This is my friend Trinidu. He's holding the mic right here. So my friend Trinidu, in fifth grade, me and my friends, during recess, we would just walk around during, after lunchtime. And then my friends pointed out this really tall guy who would just kind of run around by himself. And um, they, they would kind of laugh at him or make fun of him because he was a little different than they were. Um, so I decided one week, or one day to just go up to him and talk to him to see, just to meet him and see what he liked to do just to be his friend. Cause it didn't look like he had a lot of friends in school. So I did that and I got to know that his name is Trinidu. I learned that he's very good at math. I would give him the hardest math problem I could think of in my fifth grade brain. And he would solve it in like five seconds. And so after like a couple weeks of just talking to Trinidu and just getting to know him, he was the coolest guy ever. And I 
I knew he was in the, um, the special education classes, which is a class that some people might be in if they need a little extra help in school. And my brother was in those classes growing up. So and I have a special place in my heart for those people in, in the classes because they're, they're amazing people. And you just got to get to know them because sometimes different is a little scary, but honestly, it's not that scary. Um, so after a few weeks of just being Trinity's friend, I invited my friends to come over and talk with him. And I told them about how cool he was and how good he is at math. And so they came over and at first they were a little, they were a little scared. They were a little hesitant, but after that, every recess, we would all hang out with Trinity and we would all make jokes together. And, oh, I mentioned another one of his, his talents was freeways. So we can name any place in this country and he would tell us the freeways to get there. And I don't know about you, but I cannot do that now. That's pretty crazy. So he would do that super quickly. So my friends, they would, they would give him hard math problems and he would just solve them just for fun. So we all got to bond and just become friends. And I thought that was the coolest thing. And so I'm sharing this story not to be like, oh, look at how, how kind I am, look at what I did. But I wanted to show you how the difference in my friends and how they were pretty scared at first to, to talk to someone who was different but they just needed a little bit of encouragement and then they were able to show kindness to him. I'm sharing some of my personal pictures. These are some individuals with autism or with a different disability that have made my life so happy and so much better. And the, the middle one is one of my best friends. Her name is April. We've been friends for about four years, I think. And it just makes me so sad that some people are are too scared to talk to people who are, they might be different than them. And me and April are very different. We're different in age, we're different in, we like different things, but we, we have the coolest bond and we're best friends and I can't imagine my life without her. So these are different ways that you can show kindness to your friends with different abilities. So you can do this by practicing showing compassion to everyone around you and showing them that you care for them and understand them. Another way is celebrating your similarities and differences with others. We don't all look or think the same way, so it's important to take time to listen to others and then share your thoughts as well. And it's important to remember that everybody has something to offer no matter what. Another way is reaching out to others, even when it might seem a little scary or uncomfortable. Sometimes it might we might not want to leave our friends during recess or during class to talk to someone who's sitting by themselves. But in these situations, it's important to think about the other person and how they feel instead of how we might not want to leave our friends in that moment. And lastly, you can stand up for people who are, who are being mistreated. And you can do this by telling an, an adult or a teacher about the way that people are being unkind to a certain individual. Overall, we are all unique in our own amazing ways. And I wanna encourage you guys to find ways to show kindness every day. It's important that we see the people around us for who they are and celebrate our similarities and differences with them. So we can show kindness by reaching out to others, making them feel accepted, loved, included, and especially to those who might not feel that way most of the time. And that is my talk on kindness, so thank you guys.